Things you did not know about Venom. New movie. Ooh. Coming out. Venom The Last Dance. Which, by the way, I don't I haven't actually watched any of the Tom Hardy movies front to back, but I have mm-hmm. seen them in their entirety it's, just by watching clips on YouTube. There you go. Just saying. Second one. Not that good. Um, but yeah, so we have uh, Venom, The Last Dance, coming to theaters. I also, this is what I envisioned the voice to sound like in his, or at least Venom's voice to sound like, is in these movies, where it's like, you know, bassier, raspier, not that crap, like that shriek that comes out of uh, this. Oh, for Grace. Oh, my God. Spider-Man he was in 3. Mona Lisa's smile with Julia oh Roberts. Oh, my God. Spider-Man 3 was a terrible movie from beginning to end, pretty much. Yeah. When he started doing the dance scene for four minutes in the middle, I almost walked out of the theater. <laughs> mean that? Yeah. When he was emo, Peter yep. Parker? When yes, he yes. puts his hair in front of his eye? Yeah. That so, that was Spider-Man 3. This was released on May 4th, 2007. And then these are the other movies that include Venom. You also have the first one with Tom Hardy. And then you also have, and that was October 5th, 2018 that that one was released. And then you have Venom, Let There Be Carnage. This was released October 1st, 2021. As you can Should see, I got better. a nice big old fat grainy picture on this one. Do you know who directed this movie? It was, um, dude, um, I just, his name just slipped my head. The guy who, who, um, was Caesar in the, yep. um, Andy Circus. There you go. <clears throat> So and also um, the little googly guy in Lord of the Rings. Gollum. Gollum. <laughs> Gollum. He was not in Mona Lisa's Smile, though. He was not in Mona Lisa's Smile. <laughs> and he did not know Bob Cousy either, as far as I no, know. He didn't. Andy right. Dick wasn't around at that point so, either. <laughs> so the idea... Oh, quick side note. Here, we're pausing Venom. There's uh, a guy that's, like, touring with Andy Dick. Uh-oh. Who now follows me on Instagram. Oh, it's because I kept saying Andy Dick. Well, and what's even funnier is that on YouTube, somebody has been uploading all of the episodes of news radio in like two to three hour chunks. And I've been sucked into that because I love that show. So I'll sit here and work. Andy Dick also likes to suck. Oh, Jesus Christ. (laughs) It all gets derailed by Frank. Good Lord. Anyway, back to Venom. So the idea for Venom actually came from a fan letter. Back in the 80s, Marvel ran a competition for aspiring artists and writers. 22-year-old Randy Schuler wrote in with an idea that Reed Richards would create a new jet black costume for Spider-Man made out of unstable molecules, the same material of the Fantastic Four costumes. Schuler ended up getting $220 for his idea. Okay. And they were going to give him the opportunity to write the script, but there were some issues with that, so that didn't happen. And then a year later was when Secret Wars was released, along with the storyline that introduced Venom. Um, quick sidebar. Andy Dick has a new TV show called Tiger Dick. The trailer's out now. <laughs> oh, my God. See how it all came around? It all circles around Andy Dick. Uh, All circles around the dick. Jesus. Oh, my God. Venom was originally meant to be a female. <laughs> the of course, story was a name like that. So this is pretty, pretty crazy here. So the story was going to be about a pregnant woman. She was a taxi driver. She was going to get distracted by Spider-Man and accidentally kill her husband. She would then go into labor in the street and lose the baby. As wow. she leaves the hospital, the, the rejected symbiote, would attach to her creating Venom. So you might be thinking, oh, Marvel probably didn't want to do this because that's a little bit too dark. That's not why they said no. They said no because Jim Salakrup, I might think I'm getting that name right. He was a Marvel editor at the time. He didn't think a woman was credible enough to threaten Spider-Man. I thought they were going to say because her boobs are too big and she wouldn't be able to move her arms. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Leave Those it male play. artists at Marvel, am I right? <laughs> am I right? <laughs> so, do you guys know where this version of Venom is from? 
That's the animated series. Looks like he has a butt for brain. Uh, yes, a little bit. Uh, so that was from the 90s Spider-Man show. Do you know who voiced this Venom? Mark Ham. Oh, yeah, Mark Hamill. Not Mark Hamill. Uh, Tim Curry. Uncle Phil. Hank Azaria. Oh, nice. He was the voice of Venom in the 90s uh, cartoon show. Spider-Man. Or of uh, Spider-Man. All right, now, despite the alien symbiote, um, which that's how I say it. Is that how you guys say it? Symbiote? Symbiote? Mm -hmm. right. Symbiote. Symbiote. Uh, so despite the fact that the, the, the symbiote craves flesh, there was something in the 90s comics that would help curb that hunger. Chocolate. <laughs> it was one of the storylines. <laughs> like the chocolate. long slurp. He just slurp. loved the chocolate. Now, we rarely get the actual story of why the symbiote was, uh, or Clintar, if you will, was banished to Earth. But there is a story in the comics where Venom was deemed... I... The hell? That's not... That's what we were talking about next. I'm not sure why it went there already. It's a different Snoopy. He's going to fuck shit up. That's what you call a tease. Yeah, could you imagine Charlie Brown was Venom? <laughs> um... So the storyline was that uh, Venom was actually deemed unworthy to be a part of the hive, uh, to be a part of the hive mind on its planet because of the first host that it bonded to, it corrupted it. So he was then banished to earth. Okay. I thought they were going to say it was because it was a woman and you can't have a woman because they don't challenge anything. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. It, it maybe that's what it was. I didn't. I didn't read that far into the storyline. Although I do really love the Venom comics. That's one of the. That's one of the Marvel comics I always gravitate towards. 